Hello everyone. Welcome to Code with Anand. It's been long time since we last uh, talk. So in the last video we talk about uh, flex card and some basic questions of flex card. In this video we are going to talk about some back end process of uh, how we fetch the data, how to use the data so that it will be easy for you to understand that first how to get the data and then how to plug into the UI part. So it will be easy in both way. So today in today's video we are going to use some um, back end process how to use that. So in the digital experience as you know that uh, in Salesforce architecture um, re uh, overview uh, there are three parts of the Omni Studio like digital experience, service management and uh, developer experience. So through the digital experience we are going to use like a, a UI part front end part and through the service management layer we are using back end part like integration procedure and data adapter so if you come here you can see this definition as the service management layer include the data service that read write transform calculate and track within the out within or outside the sales force so there are two part two way one is the integration omni studio data adapter which is like a configurable service for retrieving, transforming and updating the data and second is the uh, Omni Studio uh, integration procedure like which is kind of bundle of the uh, it's kind of uh, uh, bundles like a bundle of data adapter, remote actions, uh, set value etc. So declarative server side process that execute the multiple action in the single server call. So uh, data adapter integration procedure deliver data to, data to and from UI component and the orchestrate calls to apex class yeah you can use the apex class as well in the ip so these are two, two tools you can use for backing in the data so if you go for the data adapter like the data adapter there are four types of data adapter uh, so let me tell you how many times of this there are four types of data adapter in a short way we can call it as a DR, DR means data adapter. First one is turbo, second is extract, third is uh, transform and fourth is load. So we are going to talk about all the uh, about all the drs in uh, particular videos we are going to make particular videos for each of the dr uh, what is the work of turbo what is the work of extract what is the work of transform and what is the work of load so mainly data adapter is kind of a mapping tools that uh, enables you to read transform write salesforce data which as I already told you that four kinds of data adapters. So let me show you how you can find the DRs and how we can going to make that. So as soon as you click on uh, login to your org, you will find the Omni Studio. And from here in the drop down, you can find the Omni Studio data adapter. So as soon as you click on the DR, it will show you some sample DR. Then uh, we are going to uh, create videos on each of the DR. So, uh, there are like I told you the four types of data adapter so turbo data adapter extract data from the single salesforce object let's suppose accounts then we are going to uh, fetch from only accounts single uh, accounts and the, the same way uh, there are the extract data adapter which is used for read data from uh, read salesforce object output json xml with complex fields mapping formulas and uh, everything are supported just one second yeah the same way the transform data adapter perform the intermediate uh, data transform without reading writing means the transfer data adapter is used to change from one uh, format to other format you can use for formatting for data adapter as well transform and the same way load data adapter is as the name is load load data adapter is used to post something to update something you can use for uh, updating part uh, data adapter load so data adapter typically supply data from uh, data to omni script integration procedure cards or uh, update from omni script omni uh, integration procedure cards to salesforce or to object 
omniscript uh, uh, calls dr extract to read the data from salesforce to uh, update the data to the salesforce and interact with the user and change new data so these are kinds of the work of all the data adapters so uh, you can see as soon as you uh, log, uh, log in into the org and uh, go to the dr you can find the same way to create the dr so as soon as you click on new let me show you how you can create uh, we are not going to build the fully data i'm just going to show you the format of uh, how you uh, uh, you can build the data and what is the basic things of the uh, you, you need to take care of that so let it be load and sometimes my network connection is slow so it's taking a little bit time to load everything so as soon as you click on new first you need to give the interface name so interface name is mandatory first of all and then you need to uh, give the interface name is nothing but just a uh, declarative name which is uh, which can be displayed on the omniscript or uh, wherever you are going to use that the same way interface type so you can see here interface type is like which kind of data adapter you are going to use extract data adapter turbo load or transform if you want to get some data then you need to use the turbo or extract if you want to uh, post some data like update some data to salesforce then you can use load and if you change if you want to change the format of the data then you can use transform data type to transform the same way you can see the input type here so uh, in what in which format you want to get the input json xml and custom so you can use uh, all any of these and the same way you want uh, the for output as well output type and then require permission which is optional if a specified settings input you uh, want to run through integration procedure then you can give the uh, uh, required permission as well and the same way you need to give the description here after giving all these things you need to click and save and then uh, we, we, we we will get uh, all the five types like extract formula output uh, and preview these kinds of so i will uh, show you a full bundle how to create the data adapter in the next video this is just a kind of overview like how we are going to use the data adapter from uh, from next video we are going to work on like uh, all these first we will work on the data adapter turbo then we will work on uh, extract then transform and then load one by one we will work on all uh, all of these um, data adapters then we will work on integration procedure and uh, gradually we will uh, work on other chapter on this omni studio as well so uh, if you like my videos and uh, please share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that it will motivate me and i can make more videos like this okay thank you everyone thank you thank you for watching code with anand bye, -bye.